All right, guys. So this is welcome back to another uh, Patreon request, and this one comes from Bill McLaughlin, who asked me to do a three-way crossover between Hellboy, Helsing, and Owl House. And as always, if you would like to have a Patreon request done by me, whether it be a review, fan fiction idea, any of that good stuff, uh, just hit the link below. Head on over to my Patreon and hit the fourth tier, where not only you'll be able to get uh, exclusive videos, but you also get to send me requests. That's also where my Morbius review is going to be. And oh boy, I got a feeling it's going to be a good one. Not the movie, the the review. I think I'm going to go. I'm going to go complete ham on it and uh, tear that movie to shreds. Anywho, we're not here to talk about that. So yes, we are here to do a a video about a three way crossover between these three pros properties. Um. So yeah, this is like I said, Hellboy, Helsing, Owl House. And I call and I dub this this three-way event the Witching War. So the Witching War. This story is basically uh, starts out with Hellboy going into a cult, you know, fighting his way through a cult of witches, and he finds like this idol that has like the like has a strange mark on it. And these were like not just any witches. These were witches that were part of a Nazi uh, a Nazi occult group that specialized in using witchcraft. Um, not the ones like Rasputin, but they, he did have a hand in these guys. Like, these were witches that were employed from Romania to serve the Axis during World War II, and their magic is drawn from somewhere else. You might know where that might be coming from, but we'll get to that in a moment. So, Hellboy reports back to the BPRD, and they were like, yeah, we found out that we're kind of like, uh, there's a bit of a cross, we're going to have to cross, uh, agencies with this so we're going to, have to be working with the london group and he's like what's the london group and he's like oh wait oh crap so alucard walks in and he's like yeah helsing is the helsing organization the bprd have both been investigating these new like cults these new like witch nazi witch cults that have been like springing up across the world the reason why uh the helsing organization got into this whole mess was because what happened was that these guys are now and were also working with Millennium too? Like Millennium had brought them back, and Millennium has now like they've uh, Helsing also discovered um, some very interesting information. One of the people that is working with Millennium now is Baba Yaga. If you guys know your Hellboy, um, not uh, you. If you know your Hellboy comics, then you know that Baba Yaga was not only a big part of like Russian mythology, but also a big villain. For Hellboy in his latter years. So yeah, Baba Yaga is working with Millennium and is really behind this cult. He's the one, she, yeah, she's the one who is behind this cult and she's working with someone that Hellboy knows. Yeah, Hellboy is well acquainted with, with the person behind all of it, like who Baba Yaga and Millennium are working together with. Um, but the whole thing is like, we've been kind of, like the whole, so... Alucard and um, Hellboy, along with like Abe and Saris, are deployed, you know, to hunt down and destroy these. But they, as they keep finding these, they discover there's something odd. Um, all these specific points, because it's not like random. These sects are uh, these uh, these uh, Nazi witches aren't um, just popping up in random spots. It's like they're p precise points. Those precise points are where Titan Bleed is. So yeah, these is so there's like oh it's a bleed through and they've always like kind of talked uh, like both the BPRD and the Helsing organization um, uh, are both aware of like this weird like bleed through into another world that bleed through um, uh, that bleed throughs of course into the realm of the boiling isles and they've always like known about bleed about the Titan bleed. But they've never like gone all the way through it. Like they've like it's always been like don't touch that. So now um, Hellboy and Alucard both cross into the Boiling Isles and head. It, they cross into the Boiling Isles and are immediate. Like it, it's kind of funny because Alucard and Hellboy like look around and they're like, huh? Because the whole thing they always usually hide in shadows. But now they're in a world surrounded by monsters, and not their. And it's not like their first option is let's kill everything. It's more like, oh, this is interesting. Like they already aware that not every monster here is is evil, but like they're just kind of moving through the whole thing. Like they're just kind of like, oh, I guess we're here now. Um, 
So it turns out that the the re, the cult uh, Hecate is the one behind this. So Hecate, as we guys know, is another part of the Hellboy BPRD callback. But Hecate is is kind of a big deal in the Boiling Isles because Hecate is the patron goddess of wild magic in the realm of the Boiling Isles. You know, she is the patron goddess of like all every like bit of wild magic and her religion has been kind of like what been effortless like like Belos ever since taking power, the Emperor's Coven has been more or less trying to erase Hecate's it like religious influence on uh the on wild witches. More or less like it's it's kind of like what the Empire tried to do with with the Jedi, where they were like, yeah, that's uh, that's just the, like any kind of reference to them is whitewashed. So anything revolving around Hecate or those worshiping Hecate are being cast out. But the thing is, Hecate has been like uh, like there there are some wild witches who are using their magic to bring Hecate back because they know she's on Earth. And she's kind of like, you can't really kill her, because she's a fucking god. So, they're trying to bring Hecate into a new mortal form, so she can, you know, bring back the, the, the power of wild magic. And they've more or less been, they've been bleeding through. It turns out, yeah, they've been helping the Nazi witch group, and, and by and large, Millennium and, and Baba Yaga, they've been in contact with them, because they're trying to resurrect Hecate, and, and, like, more or less double her power. It's a very big deal. Like, yeah. Boiling Isles, go into Nazi witches and Baba Yaga to bring back um, an ancient god. And Millennium is in, all, in on all this because they're basically like, uh, yeah, we're all in. Let's do it. Like, yeah, this is going to bring about a great war. And, it's, and, the, and the Major's all like, yeah, I'm totally all for, like, another great war. Um... Yeah, so obviously, they uh, Alucard and Hellboy run into Luz and e and um, Ida, and it turns out Ida is a she worships Hecate, because of course she would. Of course, if like, yeah, of course Ida would worship Hecate as her patron goddess, and she's kind of like on one hand, like I work like I can't go against my uh, you know I can't go against my goddess. I can't. You know, it's kind of my religion, and Luz is like, "You have religion, you, you, you're religious," and she's like, "Yeah, Hecate is my patron goddess. I can't it, like this is kind of a big deal for the wild witches. If I stab her in the back, if I go against her, it'll basically be like I'm saying fuck you to who I am." But on the other hand, she kind of understands that if Hecate is brought back and under the control of Millennium and Baba Yaga, then that's even worse. Also, I wanted to have a fun moment where, like, Ida talks, like, when they br when Alucard and Hellboy bring up Baba Yaga, Ida reveals that she took on that identity whenever she traveled on Earth, or, uh, like, in her, or, like, ever whenever she traveled through Europe, uh, she took on that identity. So, yeah, she, uh, like, I did want to make that Baba Yaga reference because of the walking house, but, yeah, she took, she, like, it, uh, made herself, like, the Baba Yaga imposter. Um... So, yeah. Um, but at this point, Belos is also, like, really against the idea of bringing back Baba... Uh, excuse me, Hecate. Because, yeah, that's just going... To, like, that goddess is going to throw a monkey wrench into everything that is. So, now you, the the Owl House, Alec, along with Hellboy and Alucard, are caught in, like, this massive war between the Emperor's Coven and um, and the cult, of, uh, the cult of Hecate. So... Among all of this, it's just one big, uh, like, just warfare. And they want, and the other thing is, too, is that they want to have uh, Luz be Hecate's new, like, physical body. Like, they want to use her as the new physical body for Hecate. And that doesn't sit well, and that's kind of like what drives Ida to go, no. <laughs> I am not going to serve a goddess who's going to make it my it, like essentially my adopted daughter into its uh, into part of its cult. So I'm gonna fight them. So yeah, Alucard, Ida, and Hellboy all unite to, and they even kind of make a temporary alliance with the Emperor's Coven to fight back and defeat Hecate. Um, 
and stop her from being uh, brought back from the dead, basically, yeah. So, there, <laughs> there's your story. Like, there you go, guys. Uh, there is my three-way crossover for Hellboy, Helsing, and Owl House. I'd like to thank uh, Bill McLaughlin for sending me this uh, video to do. This was a lot of fun. Um, and you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of it? And as always, if you would like to have a Patreon request done, just hit the link below, hit the fourth tier, and you guys can send me requests for videos here on to do here on YouTube. But other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.